Well, a very good morning. How are you doing? Welcome again to the Buzz UG. And of course, I have the most trending stories right here for you this morning. I hope you are doing very okay. Uh, before I take you through the main stories, today is a very special day for me. Actually, it's my birthday. Uh, please, can somebody sing for me a happy birthday? <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Well, 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 there you go. I want to thank God for this added year. And um, I hope it's going to be so fantastic. And I hope I continue serving you the trending stories happening in the country. And I hope that we continue growing together right here on The Buzz UG. Yes, my name is Melans Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. <music> Now, taking you through the details of the stories that I have for you this morning, another video of a young girl forced into marriage with an old man who looked to be in his early 30s has surfaced on social media and Ugandans are demanding that everyone behind this marriage should be arrested immediately. This comes two weeks after another young girl of 15 years from Chotera district was forced to get married to a 50-year-old man. But fortunately, later on she was rescued by Uganda police and she's in safe hands right now. Let's hope that even this one is going to be rescued and the people behind this marriage apprehended immediately. Otherwise, this backwardness is getting to another level. Well, in other news... President Museveni's Minister for Karamoja Affairs, Agnes Nandutu, yesterday narrowly survived being killed by unknown people suspected to be Karamojongs with guns who shot at her vehicle in parts of Karamoja. Well, in a video circulating on social media, Agnes Nandutu is hard pleading to God to have mercy on them as she's narrating how it all happened. They were running away. Let them first look for them. Hmm. I went to in an ambush. Just pray for me. Eh, do you know again it was they were, we were going to be the man came into the road like this hey. but the gun of the Ascari failed it got stuck this road is becoming bad mm, it's becoming bad eh? do you know they fired they fired but ah you know you could move the dirty part I wanted to be in front no because they they, uh, they they were seeing yes. so they didn't know that we have we have people you see the Kamsus they fired at them but eh hey, the things uh, they, 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 they were small boys, eh? and then one, the one with the gun who wanted to shoot, yeah. then he, he even moved, to, but this, the one who was in front, his gun got stuck, mm. otherwise he was going to shoot him. The man is in a black shirt and a red trouser, a red shirt. Eh, they fired the car, but it didn't. Eh, God, have mercy on us. It was bad. This road is becoming bad. And then they, they, they found his gun. Mm. Yeah, because of being in, eh? Mm. Fired from here. <laughs> well, there you go. That is the State Minister for Karamoja Affairs, Agnes Nandutu. However, a big section of Ugandans on social media have attributed this attack on the recent statement she made while she appeared on NBS TV. She actually said that NUP donating food to Karamoja was just for cheap popularity. We all remember she was attacked so big time on different social media platforms after making that statement. Yeah, so some people think that Karamojongs must be very angry. And by the way, this is not the first time for her to survive death. A few months back, reports circulated in the media suggesting that she fell in the bathroom after shower and in the process, she developed a blood clot, but she later came out in the media and uh, dismissed the reports. 
Yeah, so that's the trending news in Horrible Agnes Nandutu's camp. In case you have anything on your mind about this story, just put it down in the comment section. Well, in other news, yesterday, law enforcement agencies destroyed businesses built in Luigi Swamp in areas of Busega. Casual laborers were hired to put down the illegal structures put in this wetland. Affected taxi drivers and vendors operating in the tax park castigated government for the operation. Now, the leadership of the tax drivers defended the park's existence in the wetland, claiming to have received clearance from the Kampala Capital City Authority, NEMA, and uh, the Uganda National Roads Authority. We now know to call it a case to our gazette to Gidina KCC at Kiris or Korelao. To our Nikira Minister of Works and the Transport, General Katumba or Mala, not syndicate, Minister of Kampala, and I know to wait Baloo at syndicate executive director. Well, there you go. That is the latest that I got for you right here on the Buzz UG. Meanwhile, some people were asking for my contact. Maybe they want to send me some birthday gift. Hey, yes, yes, maybe. <laughs> That's my WhatsApp number right there on your screen. And maybe you want us to do some business together. You can still contact me on that WhatsApp number. Anyways, my name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller. Many thanks for subscribing onto the Buzz UG. And in case you haven't, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. The day has just started and trust me more stories are coming your way so what you have to do stick right here on the buzz UG. you can as well invite your other friends to come and be part of us right here on this platform it's a bye for now thank you Audio jungle.